The California Coastal Commission is fining two Mission Bay RV parks more than a million dollars over public access. Our Sophia Hernandez looks into how the fines are creating public access to our beaches. Thursday, the California Coastal Commission making Campland on the Bay and Mission Bay RV Resort two public trust state tidelands pay more than a quarter million dollars in penalties. They had a bunch of signs up saying it's for private use only and they, it was only for guests paying cu customers and their websites advertised it as a private luxurious beach. VP of operations to the parks says that's not the case. We take it really seriously the, our role as proactive conscientious stewards of these these tidelands for the whole community to enjoy. However, the two groups agreeing the parks will pay $750,000 for free summer camps for underserved youth, new public amenities, removal of signs and fencing that make beaches look private to clearly show it's for everyone. The public has always had the right to go there and we're just trying to clarify um, ways to show that they, they can get out there. While the parks have welcomed these requests, some environmentalists believe it's not enough. However, both parties say they are a necessary low-cost option for some to access the coast. In this pandemic uh, and post-pandemic environment, you know, the how hospitality industry has shifted and the importance of affordable overnight accommodations, including RV camping, um, which has just exploded in popularity is more crucial than ever before for so many San Diego families and visitors. The parks will return with a plan as to how they will implement these measures in 60 days. Once approved, it takes immediate effect. Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. The Coastal Commission wants beachgoers to know that while the changes for public amenities have not taken effect as of yet, the beach is open to the public and can be accessed by all.